Hey, this is another loyalty roofing training video here. Loyalty roofing, loyalty home solutions. This is the video of how to transport the porta potty trailer with the Dodge minivan. You one thing to make sure that you always hook the electric cable for the trailer. So this is usually tucked in there. You're gonna get it out, pull it out as far as you can go. Then you can shut the door and you will not damage the cable. Just gotta be careful to be on a good soft spot. Gotta make sure it's connected all the way in and always come out and double check to make sure the lights are working. In this case here, what I would do is I will put the emergency lights on so you can see how they're working. I cannot test the brake lights because I'm just one person at the moment right now. But I want to make sure I shoot this video. So, got the directional lights working. We'll come out and check it out. I connect it all the way. As you can see, both directionals are flashing. So that means we do have power and juice. So the lights are working. Our license plate is there, current up to date. The door is locked. You always wanna make sure that we have this little clip here. This clip prevents the door from actually opening up and things falling out of the door. You don't want anything falling out. And also you have, you wanna make sure that you got your lock hooked. You don't need to lock this lock, but you need to get it hooked, all right? These clips here, you wanna make sure they're clipped on all the way up because these are the jacks of the trailer that keep the trailer from bouncing around when you're actually stationary. Same thing in the front, you got them in the back and in the front, right? And you gotta make sure that these things are hooked, okay? Underneath, both of them, all right? And that this tongue here, it's hooked in all the way because this is what actually locks the trailer in place, all right? I will be doing another one later on on how to set it up on the ground. But for now, this is it. If you have a different, if you're pulling with a different truck, the one that doesn't have this little thin plug here, I don't know what that's called. We always have this adapter here. This adapter will always stay in the box. And what it does is it connects to that thin part and you can connect this onto a truck. It gives you a little more leeway as well. It's a coil leeway. So whenever and whatever you use it you got to make sure that you put it back here this stays with the trailer no matter what so when you use it you're done with it you put it back and this is used when you're pulling the trailer with a bigger truck all right peace out